Let me ask you about the New York Times report. Um, recently reporting President Trump privately pushed for shooting migrants and for creating a, quote, water-filled trench stocked with snakes or alligators along the U.S.-Mexico border. The Times also detailing how Trump has privately proposed other radical measures to curtail immigration, including closing the entire U.S.-Mexico border and building an electrified border wall topped with spikes to pierce human flesh. The Times revealing Trump has repeatedly raised the idea of shooting migrants during staff meetings. The paper reporting, after publicly suggesting that soldiers shoot migrants if they threw rocks, the president backed off when his staff told him that was illegal. But later in a meeting, aides recalled, he suggested they shoot migrants in the legs to show th slow them down. That's not allowed either, they told him. Uh, the Times article is based on the new book, Border Wars, Inside Trump's Assault on Immigration, by The Times reporters Michael D. Scheer and Julie Hirschfeld Davis. Julian, if, uh, Julian Castro, if you could respond. Uh, I mean, that's the product of a deranged mind right there. Uh, what else can we say about that, except uh, that's an individual with a deranged mind and uh, obviously a lot of hate uh, toward uh, these migrants. Uh, and, you know, this is the caliber of person that's sitting in the Oval Office right now. It's just one more example of why he should not be president of the United States, somebody who is not only hateful, but who is so divorced from reality that he would, on multiple occasions, bring up the idea of shooting people. Uh, it makes no sense. Uh, I hope that more and more Americans are paying attention to the depravity of this president and the cruelty that he's inflicted on people that are simply seeking a better life. And that's consistent with people from different places all over the world that have come seeking a better life, who have come from desperate circumstances throughout the generations. And so this is nothing new in our country's history or the history of the world. Uh, and uh, my hope is that, uh, you know, this president is going to be held to account for what he's done in terms of violating his oath of office and abusing his power that he will be impeached, that he'll be removed from office. If he is not impeached and removed, he's going to be defeated on November 3rd, 2020, and that this nightmare with respect to how he's treating migrants will be over. With regard to the impeachment inquiry, we have a constitutional crisis on our hands now, because what the administration just said in the letter they sent to Speaker Pelosi yesterday is, you can't review us. You have no power over the president or the administration to review our actions. Uh, where do you go from there except to say that they're denying uh, the authority of Congress under the Constitution? He is now obstructing justice again. This itself should qualify as an impeachable offense, and I expect that it will be part of the charge on impeachment. Congress needs to move forward swiftly to hold this administration accountable for President Trump's violation of his oath of office, his abuse of power. We have never seen anything like this. Even Richard Nixon was not this brazen. Um, and I believe that in short order, what you're going to get is a lot of damning evidence, a lot more. We've already seen some, a lot more damning evidence. And the polling that is coming out showing that support, even among Republicans and independence for impeachment and removal that is skyrocketing in support of that is going to continue well, Castro, because people can see for their you know with their own eyes and hear with their own ears evidence that shows he doesn't belong in office we just